How's it going, everybody? Andy McCall from the Kansas City Star here, uh, somewhere in the Toronto Blue Jays press box. Um, I would like to go do this in a radio booth, but they're cleaning the ballpark, and it just sounds like um, the world's largest shop vac um, going over and over again. So anyway, uh, it was a tough day for the Royals. They lost 7-6 to six in extra innings to the Blue Jays. Um, Frank Morales gave up a walk-off single to Josh Donaldson there in the 11th, and there wasn't... You know, it's not the most uh, optimal matchup using Franklin Morales, who's a lefty, against a ton of uh, right-handed power. But the Royals really um, had little choice because they don't use Greg Holland in tie games on the road. Uh, they didn't have Wade Davis. Kelvin Herrera and Luke Hochever had each thrown two innings already, and Ryan Madsen had coughed up a three-run lead in the seventh. Uh, you know, so it was a tough day for the bullpen. Uh, they, had, they were used a lot. They weren't particularly effective. And Madsen cost Johnny Cueto a chance at his first victory of the Royal. Uh, Cueto was okay. You know, he pitched. He had a quality start, six innings, um, three runs allowed. You know, he was really struggling with the strike zone of Angel Hernandez and the fact that he's facing a very, very tough lineup. Um, you know, it's just a just a rough one for the Royals. Um, I don't know if there's a huge, you know, real message to take out of this one. But uh, besides the fact that it's pretty important when they have Wade Davis, you know, he's uh, he really is a, a, a vital cog to this sort of. Operation. So uh, he says he'll be back tomorrow. I guess we'll see. Uh, until then, you can read more in the pages of the Kansas City Star and KansasCity.com. Have a good one.